Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for attending. And once again, thank you to FX Street to give me the, op the opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of Market Operations at Intuition Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. Before we start, it's important to see, read here the disclaimer. Any alerts, any trades, uh, levels I alert during the webinar, they are not a solicitation to invest, and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. It's preferable you seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Just to remember that uh, one of our services is the automated Forex trading signals. They are automated for the MT4 platform or MetaTrader platform. Um, there is numbers of benefits, okay? You can check all of them on the web page on the, the, on the slide now. Uh, if you are a fxstreet.com user client, you have a 10% discount from the fees. So um, check there, okay? Any questions, please feel free to contact us. We are more than willing to help you in all we can and answer your questions, okay? Also, you can check uh, our website at intuitiontrading.com. Here are some of our statistics, okay, trading statistics. You can see in more detail on our website. But just to know that, okay, this year we have about 90% of the um, positive month, okay. You have an average return about 5%. Uh, this with a low risk profile, but you can check this better in, in our website, okay. You can check all statistics. Um, third-party verified statements. So once again, go there and check it, intuitiontrading.com. Let's open here the platform. Um, interesting week for the euro. Uh, I alert for the situation on Monday due to U.S. elections. Um, we have plenty of activity there. Uh, just to remember that if you have any questions, please feel free to, to write them on the chat or on the questions and answers box. Uh, I'm, to answer, I'm here to answer all your questions, okay? Um, please feel free to, to write. Um, like I was talking about, the euro this week was very good, okay? We finally get out of the range that price were making since uh, middle September. Uh, we had this breakdown. Um, the rally prior to the U.S. elections, in my opinion, was the Romney rally. Uh, there was expectations that Romney could win the, the, the U.S. elections. So the market okay, made the... So that rally is this indeed. This is the 21 pips rank of our chart. This was the rally prior to the US elections, and then, okay, market decided to go down. But let's analyze this. The current situation. Um, it's curious that my, my target for this week, uh, I alert this too on the webinar, my target for this week. No sound. Strange. Uh, I think maybe a problem in your in your software in, because I think everything can hear me, correct? So maybe a problem from you, GP in MBR. Okay. Okay, great. So like I was talking, um, I alert for my level for this week is the 126.50 level, okay, 48.50 level. I alert for that level and is more clearly seen here on the 55 pip chart. This is the 55 pip chart. This came from June, okay. So you can see that my target remain at this level here, okay. My 
weekly target, I expect that during today or tomorrow price can eat this. The US yesterday they saw levelly, so today maybe um, a calm down, but they are already negative, so the losses can precipitate to the to the end of the session, and that might lead to another sell on the euro USD. Also, there was no um, modifications on the interest rates on by the ECB. The speak of Mr. Drago didn't bring anything new to the market. So we need to be alert now for two possible scenarios, okay? This is important one, this level here, okay? The 127 level is a very important level because was the previous break. Let me clean near the 2650. And when I say this is important, if you see here on this up move, you will see that the price was moving up, but the retracements, the retracements was obvious here with this week on the bars. Okay, if you see all bars here have weeks. Only at this level, market break, okay, and after the break, they will retest, but they retest the previous break area. When I say break, is one bar at least from our breaking level, okay? So this is a gap area, okay? Let me draw here a shape so we can see better here. So this is the gap area. It's not a gap exactly, but this is a, um, a tough area. And as we can see, market is ranging here uh, since yesterday, okay? Since yesterday evening. Okay, after the, the drop, market stable at this level and remains at the uh, okay, 127.60 area, 127.70 area, 70 area. Okay, so market is ranging here, expecting to know what we'll do. Okay, in my opinion, market will need to test this level and probably will test the 126.50 area. Okay. After that, market is showing some weakness. So we can think that if market are willing to go down, we'll have this area air next support. Okay. Don't forget this is the 55 pips chart. So this is more like the weekly chart on the normal. Um, time frames. Okay. From one he bought a new five euro note will solve <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, Mr. Drag is not is not what we can say um easy speaking. Okay. Uh there's lots of problems in Europe. Uh, yesterday we had on the Greek uh, the Greek austerity the new austerity plan uh, Portugal is not famous either. Spain is complicated. Even Germany are beginning to, to, to be complicated in the economy. So there is lots of news coming in to the euro. But what price is telling us is that, okay, we are here now at this no man's land, okay? This range here is about 55 pips. This is no man's land, okay? Oh, that's why price is coming in up, down. Let me open here a new chart, for instance, a five-minute chart, so you can see what I'm telling, okay? This is the area that we see clearly on one bar. That's why I'm, I love the rank of our charts, and this is the reason. You can see here you have a lot of noise, up and down, accumulation, then down, then a retest, then break, then, okay, they are here up and down, up and down, up and down, and not deciding at all. This is, <coughs> sorry, this is since yesterday, okay, evening. So, let me clean this, close this. So, this is the, that five minutes, okay, is the single bar here. So, as you can see, one single bar, 
can determine, and you can see obviously here in the chart, they are on decision, okay? If they go to test the 127 level, and for this we need to see a close at 127.05, okay, a close or price go to that level, we have a test, and then I expect that market will continue to 126.40 area. Although, if you go, if we go here, this is a 55 pips, don't remember, this is the 55 pips, uh, from GP Nambiar, SAP is positive, uh, well, but yeah, uh, was the worst drop from this year, okay, don't forget that, and uh, it's not positive at all, the futures are down about five points, okay, and the NASDAQ, and you can see I, I, I speak at a webinar uh, that you could see, okay, was a monthly webinar about the correlation of the U.S. Uh, indexes with, um, with the Forex market. Um, that webinar is, is recorded. You can see there on the, on the um, fx3.com recorded webinar section. Uh, you can see the relation between the NASDAQ, the, the S&P, and the Dow and the Forex, but right now the S&P, okay, for what I see here on my charts are five points down, so, but it's ranging, okay, after the big drop yesterday, if they, if they continue the big drop today, uh, we'll see a, a huge sell-off, okay, so they are pausing here, see, but I think they need to go further down, let's say about um, between three and five percent down, from this down move, okay, they begin yesterday, but we, now let's focus here on the euro, okay, as you can see here, let's recap here, this is the ranging or no man's land, okay, till go to 127 area, or break the 127.70.80 area, okay, above the 89.90 area, signal that, okay, market is possible, going to test here uh, the 28.20 area, okay, above the 27.90 area, okay, this is going and test the, this break here, but to see this with a lower time frame, we go here to first to the 34 pips, and what we can see clearly at the support now here is this bar here, okay? They are all in agreement, okay? And after that, we have this, and this is the level that I think that market can pause a little and do some kind of retracement, okay, from this down move is the 126.80 area, okay? If market are willing to go down, I expect that, okay, market to go to 126.80 area, and then possibly we have a retracement of at least, let's say, 40, 50 pips, okay? Two bars, one bar, two bars of the 34 pips, okay? This level is really important. Okay, so right now, market is, is quoting 127.40 area. For the down move, we need to see a continuation, and the continuation is a test of the 127 level. If can break, market will go and test the 126.80. Okay, if break, it will go to 126.50 area. Okay, so this is the decision area for euro. Okay. If we go further to lower time frame, this is the, twen the 21 pips, okay, I show you this was the Romney rally, okay, this put even more buyers on the market, and I'll go in, uh, I will go further explain why I'm telling this will put more buyers, we're going to see the order book, and we'll see how this, these moves are seen correctly on that on that on that market sentiment indicator and then decided to go 
uh, further down here okay and the support here is the same support that we have okay we have a clear indication here okay a possible indication that the pause will be around 126.50 area okay here this uh, sorry here this level here 126.50 area although we know by the 34 pips that that 126.80 can pause there the market but now this is the scenario for the down move now we're going to I, I'm going to show you the order book for you to see okay let me open here okay just a minute please okay okay here we have this is the Oanda Forex order book okay if you can see here we saw that we see that in this down move let me do an annotation here to better understandment for better understandment here let me put okay can be on red if you see at this level here is the 127 120 okay was the last down move uh, sellers appear in the market okay there are huge sellers expecting a breakdown of the market okay expecting that market will go further down although we only see that this is a confluence area uh, sorry let me do a although we can see let is here okay is this although we can see that the stops the major stops are around 120 126 125 50 and then 125 okay although these stops this blue you can see here okay are the stops from the buyers that okay in this level we we could create some agreement in the price okay that's why price is ranging here okay up and down up and down so there is some balance here on the price so this is good op this is the best scenario for brokers to do whatever they do best okay clean the stops okay there's no doubt at all that brokers uh, look at these levels they all have this order book or when they show to us but all have this okay this is the, the information they have and they all see the same levels okay and they do uh, this kind of this is not stop hunting okay this is what they do best is clean levels of the market the stop hunting is a huge spike on the price that go and clean some stops at that level this is uh, somehow different this is um, level venting okay so what you can see that the stops now from these buyers that entry okay let's say 127 20 127 30 area the stops of these buyers okay are below the last low are around 127 10 or 127 level that's why this will give more agreement to us if we see price goes to 127 level can go quickly and test the 126 80 area although we don't have here any information okay that there are stops at 126 80 the level we see stops or the majority of the stops are 126 okay on Monday uh, during the webinar the stops were at 126.50 so what were about here so what we can understand from these moves or this scale down on the stops is that okay uh, investors uh, decided to okay market is ranging okay here I will go and give more 
space to my stop, okay, to not be caught on the on the um, uh, fast movement of the market. Although this is not very good to do, in my opinion, when you put a stop on your order, uh, if you define your target, okay, but um, if you're not defined, it's not a problem. Although the stop is the most important thing you need to define in your, in your trade. Because with that, you know the risk reward you might have. If you begin move your stop, Okay, uh, this will create in your brain, and that is, okay, that is, that was a study of about the um, psychologies of markets, okay, um, this create an effect in your brain that will move your stop, will will move again, then will move again, because you will be always expecting that price will reverse to your price or to your side. Okay, so it's really important when you, you enter in a trade, you know, okay, this will be my, my target or my first target or this will be my second target and this will be my stop. It's good you seek one-to-one, two-to-one risk, re risk reward uh, ratio trades. Okay, so if you move your stop, and market is moving down like we see, okay, uh, I will only be seeking in longs if price, okay, go at least break now the one, okay, the 128, 20, 128, 30 area, okay, and this will be against the, the major trend, okay, but uh, you can do that, although now market is clearly down, so and it will go further down. If market can break this area here, and we see clearly on the charts, and this confirms, if market can break here the 127, we see that market can go to 126.80, then 126.50, and then go to 126, and clean these stops here, the majority of the stops here. And now we begin to see the stops at 125.50 and below 125. Okay, so when you look at the charts, you need to to make a simple question, okay? And the question is, who will lose more money in the market? Right now, if you if you see here, let me clean this. If you see here, you will think who will lose more money in the market? Will be the buyers? Or will be the sellers. Okay? You have sellers here, okay? The sellers at 127 to 127, 30, 40 area are the majority, okay? These are expecting a breakdown, okay? Although the big number are made here, okay? We here can see to 130, 50. But as this move begin at one at one thirty one fifty area more or less, we will have more more buyers here. So, who will lose more money now? Will be the buyers. There's no question. Okay. So, this can tell us that we have a high probability or a higher probability that market will go down, break the one twenty seven. I think these sellers at 127 will close the orders around 126.80, 126.50 area, okay? And then market have more space to go further down, okay? So this is the scenario now for the euro regarding the order book if this trade will continue to go down, okay? To go up, we only have this information, at least on the order book. The information we have is that, okay, these sellers here, okay, or some of these sellers here, the stops are above 127, let's say, 
60, 70 area. Okay? They are below the last pivot type. That was 75, I think, 75, 78 area. So, if you are short on the market, to not get caught by these moves, you'll need to put your stop at least above 128, 80, um, so sorry, 127, 85 area. Okay? To not get caught for price, okay, go and test that level and then decide to go further down. Mm, sorry, this is not okay. Go up and then can decide go and go further down. If you are long on the market, you expect that this could be a, a, a stall in the price. You will need to put your stops at least below the 126.80 area. Okay below these levels here because the opposite applies market can go to this level and then rebounce and go high so the levels now are clearly defined that 127 126 80 and 127 70 80 area are the levels okay are no man's land okay or no trades land Market can bounce here, and you and we see on the chart that market is bouncing up and down, up and down. Okay, in my opinion, this is the resume of this will be um, another leg down in the price. Okay, but this is the information we can have from the the, the forex order book. I'm going to show you here another tool, interesting tool. And this, this, okay, this historical order, we can see here by one month, okay, it's, uh, sorry, it's better one year, it's preferable one year, to explain why we need to think opposite of the majority of the traders, okay? This is the Euro SD one year, the percent net position. Okay, the percent the position have on the market. You can see here when you see a reverse of the trends, okay, you will see that the positions reverse from longs to shorts and market go up. Okay? Here, market was lateral, okay, you can see here, this was a, a fake move, okay, for market go down, then go up again, then you have a drop here, but you have here a significant break of that level, okay, and what you see was, okay, the majority of the traders reverse from sellers to buyers. And what price moves, price goes down. Okay? Here you have some congestion area, you have up and down, okay? Then market decide to break and make new lows. And as you can see on this huge drop here, you have a huge drop, a huge reverse of the position from sellers to buyers too. Okay? The same applies years after the mid of July when market was bouncing from the 120 level what you see more sellers appear in the market and price go up now we have this ranging gear market break dot range and what you see you see the majority of the traders reversing gear from sellers to buyers Okay, so this is clearly the importance of the of this rule, if we can say this. Okay, this chart here can tell us where the price, okay, or or reverse of the trends, okay, or some stall of the trend. 
market was really developing this uh, uptrend since middle of July, okay, that was the, the, the end was that strong up move at 6 September, more or less, uh, after the non-farm payrolls and the ECB decision, okay, that could bring, inject more money to the market, okay, and market go up, but after that remain, okay, there was the stalling of October. October was the, the biggest losing month from the, the quant funds since 2007. So not only the retail trader lose money, okay, the funds lose money too, okay, was the biggest losing month since 2007 for the quant uh, funds, okay. But this to resuming that with this too, you can see, you can have a perspective of, okay, market can now begin developing a new trend down. This is what this chart is telling us. Because the majority of the traders reverse from sellers to buyers. They are in small number. So this can be, these have space to go further down. Okay. And with this tool, we have another edge over the market. Okay. Many times I see um, and I receive emails uh, about traders that tell me, okay, uh, market has dropped about 100 pips, it's time to buy. One thing is really important. Market has no targets or no limits. Okay. Back in 2007, 2000, I think it was 2008, uh, I saw the euro spike up about 300 pips. And this in five minutes space. After uh, the US interest rates decision. Okay. Like today, if we have seen a, a, a drop on the interest rates of the euro, we were now talking about the huge drop that euro has made, and probably market more about marking now 121, 122. Okay, but Mr. Draghi didn't didn't lower the interest rates. But in November. Uh, later November, uh, beginning to say we don't know if they will, if they will lower the rates. So market can even now developing the incorporation of these lower in the rates because there is not incorporated in the price now. There was a rumors, uh, some rumors uh, that the, the ECB could drop the interest rates, but right now. Um, okay, today there was no confirmation, although the rumors will continue. So price even now can begin, okay, incorporate this lower on the interest rates. Okay, but this is the chart is need to explain why we need to be against the majority of the traders. Okay. I'm not telling this is the only grave because that not exists, okay? 100% positive trades, it's not possible at all, okay? We'll always have losing trades. But if you have an edge, and this is clearly an edge, okay, uh, you can put probabilities in your side, okay? Or push the probabilities to your side. And this is clearly, um, for what I see on the chart and for what I see even with this confirmation, that market can begin developing, if not uh, a deep retracement, uh, a new trend on the euro, okay? But let's go here to the, um, if you have any questions, please write on the, on the chat board so I can answer to them. Let me, let's go here to the platform just to see, okay, 
if market is not willing to go down, where are the levels? We might think, okay, this is good level to begin scaling in our positions to go long. Okay. Right now, even okay during our speak market during the, the webinar market continue here at this no man's land. So, for a low um, for a higher perspective, we need to see a break of this level here. Okay, a break of this low. This low is the 128.20 area. A break of this low to think, okay, market, um, this was a, a huge retracement. Market are willing to go up. On the longer perspective, I will only accept long trades if market goes above the 129 area. Okay? This is the 55 pips chart. So if market reverts from here and go to at least 129.20 area, okay, I can think, okay, market may, can make here a new low, retest that level, the 127 more or less, 127.20 area, all the market, and market will go up. If we see a price, if we are going to see a price above the 129.20 area, we can think, okay, market are willing to probably going higher from here. Okay? This is for the, four, the, the, the 55 pip chart. Okay, from Peter Finance, so majority are always wrong. That's why, yes, you got it. Okay? Uh, that chart shows us what you are questioning there okay the majority of the traders uh, are always wrong if you know a statistic uh, that um, a forex account uh, after three months is broken okay is bankrupt the statistic is uh, a new retail trader uh, that entering the market after three months, the account is at bankruptcy, okay, with no money there. And that see, um, that see, sorry, that show us why, because if we, I, I demonstrate that when the majority of the traders are long, the price went down, and when the majority of the traders are are short, the price go up. So they can't win, okay? That's why when I see sometimes blaming, uh, oh, well, I enter short and the market go, goes up, or I enter uh, long and the market goes down, <coughs> there are no, 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 no bad entries. But there are uh, wrong exits or bad exits. If you have deep pockets, okay, like some institutionals, you can hold um, a 500, 600 pips move on the market, okay? Although the retail trader um, have not that deep pockets, okay? They can't hold um, a 600 or 500 move in the market, okay? I know some institutionals that are holding positions at 124 right now, and 123, they hold all this up move in the market. They will reverse the positions above 132.50 area, 133. There was the massive loss they could allow, because if market goes there. We'll, we'll probably we'll see the the year about 140 or 145, okay? Although they are holding that positions, and probably if market continues to go down, they will have the positions in profit. But those are the ones that have the pockets, or the system, or the trading system, is designed to to trade that way, okay? 
uh, from if people have access to this data, what do they lose with such high failure rates? That's a good question. Uh, I never see, or I never saw uh, over the, the internet, over the webinars, or uh, there are thousands, okay, of, um, there are millions ways to trade the market, okay? There are millions trading systems, okay? Um, so why they lose if they have these tools? I didn't see or I didn't saw anyone teaching these tools to or or um, speaking or speak about these tools. Okay, I follow the the, the forex order book about five six years now. Okay. Because I trade with, with pure price action. The majority of the traders want to see uh, um, a moving average or a stochastic or a, more, or a commodity channel index or a more, um, okay, um, the, the only grail indicator. Okay, again, that don't exist. Okay? They are all lagging indicators. The only leading indicator you have is the price. Is the only one. Okay? Because price leads price. Okay? A trader leads another trader. Okay? Uh, yes, now you know, Peter. Now you know. Okay, that's good to, to show something new. Uh, but um, I trade with these tools and I'm Okay, this is my arsenal of the trading. Okay, but uh, Nambiar, what about okay British pound? Okay, I will next Monday in the next webinar I can speak about the the, um, the British pound. Okay, right now um, we're about to finish here. Let me finish only here the the Euro SD levels for the rest of the week and the beginning of the, of the next week. And I promise next Monday I will talk about the, the British pound, okay, and do an analysis of the British pound for the short term and mid term. Okay, you're welcome. So, resuming here, for go up, okay, I need to see at least price go to 129.20 area and break that level. Okay, this on the 55 pip chart, okay. Because uh, market have space to go around this and retest here the 128 level is re what I'm saying is retesting this level here, okay, the 128, and then continue goes down. Okay, right now are in no trading area. Okay, if you are short, I'm short. Okay, I'm short since the 2957 area more or less. Okay, and that's some 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 trades. Uh, but if you are not short, uh, I alert that on Monday too, and was um, a good entry. Okay, uh, was about the 128.80 area. Okay, but that passed already. So that was the 55 pips. On the 34 pips, if you want to lower, okay, your uh, time frame. Um, to enter long, I need to see a break of this level. Okay, and the break of this level is again the 129 area. Okay, so even price goes to 128.60 area, I'm still in, okay, I still believe that shorts have, have um, a word to say. If I say if I see a break of this level, and this level is about 128 and 90 area, 129 area, okay, I can think on the 34 pips. Okay, it's time to um, close my trades if if they are still short at the market. I don't believe because I close the trades with the 21 pips, uh, but to go long from here, I need to see a break at this level. Okay, so all, uh, all 
is pointing to the 129 area, more or less. Okay. On the 21 pips, and this is the lowest one, you can do some counter trend trades, okay, if you see at least a break of the 128. And this counter trend need to be careful because after that we'll have this the 126, 60, 70 area. This is a, a resistance. Then we have another resistance at 129. Market can go there. Although if you trade the 21 pips, okay, you can sink entry long if market are able to break, let's say 128, 20, one, let me do 128, 50 area, 10, 50 area. If market can break that, you can sink in long, okay, to make here two, three bars, still four bars, so about 80, uh, 80 pips. Okay, with your stop one bar below the one bar above the the, the last pivot. Okay, so to go along and to resuming here the session, the webinar. Uh, okay, time flies. Well, I'm fly. Sorry, to resuming the webinar <coughs> is that we are now trading in. Okay, no no man's land. We have the 27.70.80 area, 27 area, okay? If go down, you can annotate that market could go to 126.80 and then test the 126.50. If break, we can see further development till 124.50. He worked correctly, 124, okay? On the middle, uh, on the other side, to go long, all pointing to 29.20 is the confirmation for a possible uh, reverse of this begin of trend development, like we saw on the on the order book, and we are seeing on the charts here. Okay, on the 34 pips, the same applies. Okay, you need to be alert to the 26, uh, the 27, 26.80 area. Okay. If go up, you need to see a break, <coughs> sorry, of the 2890, 29 area in order to go long. Okay. On the 21 pips, this gives us opportunity to make some counter trend trades. Although, you know that counter trend trades have less probability that to be succeeded. Okay, but if you trade it, go with it. And if you see a break of the 128, 10, 50 area, you can enter long with about 40 pip stops, 40, 50 pip stops, and expect make at least 40, 50, or even 80 pips target. Okay? And this will give us, and to finish here, if market can break this level here, this will be the important level up. So we'll retain from this webinar the down and the up. This will be 28, 80, 29 will be the important level for market break to go up. So we have now the 27, 20, uh, 770, 760, okay, 70, uh, 27. On the upside, we have the 28, 80, 29, okay? that can lead to higher moves. So, I will go in call a, a day here, the webinar, let me only show you some to finish here. Okay. Okay, this is regarding that, um, we go to our website and see, um, just to know that if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com. Uh, go to our micro website at fxfreed.com or go to our main website at intuitiontrading.com uh, to see our services and then, okay, and detailed information about our services, our trading. So I hope you all have enjoyed the session. 
Um, hope you have a rest of good week and have a good weekend. Uh, and uh, on Monday I will do the, 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 the analysis of the British pounds, okay, and from Euro 2 to define the, the levels for the, the next week. So uh, thank you very much for attending. Have a rest of nice day, nice week, nice weekend. See you. Bye.